Better go up here and check our tomatoes. I saw some uh, damage on them this morning for the first time. So we better check them closely this evening. See what we can see. Let's see. Oh, -ho, I see some damage right here. You can see where some of my leaves have been eating on. Oh, and there's the culprit right there. Yep. There you have it, friends and family. Look at that beautiful specimen of a tomato hornworm. Yep. That's what's eating the leaves and blossoms off of our tomato plants. And I'm thinking where there's one, there's others. But as unique and quite beautiful as they may be, he has to come to a certain end. But that's what you're looking for when you start seeing evidence of your leaves and your blossoms being munched on. And I saw that this morning. And I looked, but the sun was already starting to blaze and I couldn't find them. But I said I'd keep looking. And now I found him. And he's got to go. Yep. They're, they won't sting you. And they can't hurt you. Now, if you're sensitive, please close your eyes and cover your ears. Okay? But you can see what they'll do to your plants. And you'll notice, like right here, there's his droppings. Now, I'm not sure if he was a he or a she, but this is what will lead you to him as well. These little black poopers. And you can see just what they do to the tender young tips. Now, he hasn't been here long, and it doesn't take long. Because I was out here just a couple of hours ago looking. And I can tell you, he wasn't there. Now, hey, we've all got to look carefully and see if we can see any more. I saw some evidence of one over around here earlier today. In fact, it was right in here. And there is another one. Not sure if you can see him. Or her. Right there. There's another one. Munching on a leaf. Slightly larger. And they will grab a hold of not only your leaf with a vengeance, you got to pry them off. But they'll grab a hold of you too. But like I say, never fear. They can't harm you or eat you. But he's not quite as beautiful as the first. A little bit more discolored. And he's a little larger. But you can see the little horn he has back on his tail. Hence why they're called a tomato hornworm. And they've come early this year. Because I will admit, I haven't seen them this early in my most recent memories. And another good way to find them is to come at night. Use a black light. Or I'll be honest, 
an LED light works almost as good. But he too has to go away. So close your eyes and cover your ears. And where there's one, there was two. Oh, oh, look it down in here. I haven't seen this. Oh, the very first potato, uh, not potato, tomato that I have seen. I've been watering these every day, checking on them. And up until right now, out here this evening with all of y'all, I had yet to see the very first tomato. Plenty of blossoms, but no tomato. Now I'm even happier. But I'm thinking there's more those hornworms. So see where that leaf has been ate off? Where this one? Oh yeah. As soon as the sun goes down, I'll have my headlamp on. And I'll be out here. Yep, I found a third one. I mean, we're, we're being invaded. And that's a younger one, see? That's number three. Yeah. It's an outright invasion of the alien hornworms. Uh-oh. He wasn't happy. Hmm. We ain't happy with him either. They are difficult to see. In fact, I'm actually surprised that I'm finding them as easily as I am. The light just must be just right at the perfect angle tonight. But here again, you can see, ate the tops off. Yeah, they can do a lot of damage in real quick order. So as soon as you see it, You've got to be a looking. And oh yeah, they make sprays. I'm going to tell you what won't hurt them. Yeah, dish soap and water won't touch them. Neem oil, in my experience, has never even got them to slow up. Nope. No, to kill these big boys, you got to get something that's aggressive like pyrethrum, something that kills, not just upsets their tummy. And of course, the preferred way to control them is like we're doing right now. Trying to find them as they're having their meal. And I'm looking for their droppings as well as their cells. You gotta get down and look under the underneath as you saw. Currently, they're all on the undersides of the leaves sitting there feasting upside down so it does appear they hadn't made all their rounds they've been sort of concentrated over here 
on the north side. And I can't see any more right at this moment. That doesn't mean they're not there. I know that all too well. But somehow I just knew bringing all of you along would help me find them. And look there. Look at what a help you were. Maybe this evening, if you all drop in, of course it's going to be late, around 11 or midnight I would say, you'll see me out here looking for them in the darkness of the night. Because then, they'll tend to be on top of the foliage instead of underneath. See right now, they're underneath to protect themselves from that sun. So, as always, we got part of my kitty crew that's being spooky and speedy over there playing. Mr. Gray off lounging in the deep thick grass in the shade. Yep, they're always here with me, not too far away. Yeah, I'm sure Cleo's somewhere. But as you've heard, there's a mower not too far off in the distance. And she's just not too fond of it. But I do want to thank y'all for coming along today and helping me find the hornworms before they did more damage. I mean, these plants are, were looking beautiful and they still do. So, if you haven't got out and looked at yours closely lately, you might want to give them a good looking over, both from above and below, and see if the hornworms have come to visit you before you know. So hey, we're going to continue to look for a little while. So until I, Spooky, Speedy, Mr. Gray, Cleo Magoo, and sometimes Heathcliff, and Little Gracie, a little bit too, see y'all on the next video. Y'all take care. Stay safe out there. Stay cool. And may God bless you as you bless others. Hey, goodbye and good night for now. Come on, guys. We got work to do. Over this way. Let's keep looking at the tomatoes.